Better is one day in your house, better is one day in your courts, and thousands elsewhere. Better is one day in your courts, better is one day in your house, better is one day in your courts, and thousands elsewhere. There's no place. There's no place.
give all of ourselves to you, Lord. That is hard sometimes, Lord. I just want to confess, Lord, that I know I don't do that all the time, but you're still here. Just like, it's okay. Like, I'll take it now, Lord. Thank you so much for being so graceful and so forgiving, so consistent with us that you you, you take us, Lord, as we are. Oh, thank you so much for your love that we will never understand. Um, Lord, but yeah, help us to, to give more and more to you in everything, however that means in our lives. Lord, help us. Help us, guide us, give us the strength, give us the people around us to encourage us to continue to give more and more and more and more and more, and more to you, God. Whoever wants to save his life will lose it. He who loses his life will lose it. idea of being reconciled you, to to one another to you know uh, to ourselves to God and, and, and especially in this in this time to to each other um, you, and understanding what that means through maturity how to grow and and, and allow Thank God you. to move um, how he wants to and um, I can't even describe um, how I so don't deserve to be up here in front of you but I, I so can't describe also how that has nothing to do with it because <laughs> 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 it has nothing to do with me. Um, and so I have a poem for you guys today um, uh, that really kind of just focuses on, it's really, it's really like a, um, a conversation between me and God and um, kind of a typical conversation how it starts off. Um, I don't know if any of you can relate, um, but looking to God for an answer and wanting to kind of scratch at the surface of it. And then... Um, Without my consent, he kind of just grabs my hand and goes to the core of the issue um, that I'm never prepared for. Um, so just kind of talking about, you know, laying ourselves down for each other and what it means to look past what's been done to us and how to grow as a body, because we are a body and we are one. So in conversations with God, my mind tends to wander. It's like my prayer starts off innocent and simple, but then my mind tends to ponder. Asking questions I don't want the answers to, because I already know them if I'm telling myself the truth. Mm -hmm. So I've asked God about his kingdom and how it really works. Because some say it's by grace, but others say it's by works. Mm -hmm. 
but God said it's simple. Just return to the dirt. <laughs> Consider yourself less than, because it's not about you. <coughs> but rather it's about those people that have been blocked from your view. He said, find your brothers and your sisters and discover how to die for them. But God, I've spent my whole life trying to hide from men. I've been rejected, innocence taken, beaten until I could barely hold on any longer. Yes, son, but my love is so efficient. I've used all these things to make you stronger. Mm. See, I've used these ugly things <laughs> to give you a backbone. So when the trials get real, you won't feel unprepared or alone. Mm. <laughs> but experience from your past will make you feel fit and toned. Mm. And with my name, you will stand in the midst of the darkness and tell the demons to go home. Mm. Yes. All right. <laughs> so rather than being angry at the people of your past, you should bless them, love them, and pray on their behalf, because are you not my child, and will they not face my wrath? <laughs> but God, even if I can forgive and embrace my past, how can I live for people who may treat my life like trash? Son, because when I did the same for you, I wasn't concerned about the ash. <laughs> well, Father, how am I supposed to build relationships and, and love in the midst of all the struggle? Son, as my servant Paul told you, renew your mind, step outside of your bubble. Wow. See the beauty that comes with living for one another. Allow me to paint a picture for you of paradise recovered. Mm. First, you must understand that you cannot survive when you insist on being divided. Matter of fact, I believe there is a scripture for that that I have provided. <laughs> <laughs> a house divided into cliques or posses cannot stand. Mm. Come on. Right? Now, this may fly for the rest of the world, but you are not merely man. Come on. Hey. And my son gave his life just so that you could be kings and queens. Would you like to see his hands? <laughs> so you are all one body, structured like apartments. One giant building inside many units. But in this complex, someone needs something. Why should they have to ask to use it? Mm. Your heart wouldn't ask to borrow your ears just to hear some music. <laughs> just like your arms wouldn't have to ask your legs if they would, could use them to run a race. But it's because of the selfish mentality that some people don't even get to set a pace. Mm -hmm. Focused on yourself and the beauty of your own faith. Mm -hmm. I dare you to grab someone as if they were your own embrace. Mm -hmm. And finally, with love, grow in one another. Mm -hmm. Be connected even more than a child inside of his mother. Mm -hmm. Go deep and be honest and lay yourself out there. Supposing yourself to be abandoned like a breeze in the air only to to be pulled in by someone and discover that they care. Mm -hmm. Get accustomed to the rhythm of harmony. Mm -hmm. If everyone serves another, how could harm come to any? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So learn from the past and let the present be a present that you give to someone else so your future will be pleasant. Mm -hmm. And return to the dirt because those who do shall certainly inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we've, um, we've, we've uh, kind of been using these butterflies as an illustration and um, kind of just um, talking about maturity and, and the willingness to step into that phase, to step into that cocoon and, and become who you truly are. So um, now we're going to go outside and release the butterflies that um, come out of their cocoons and um, yeah, we're going to go out there and, and all start heading out of that, that back door right there if you will follow where Miss Reese is. <laughs> so, uh, so just last week, um, gosh, we, we, we got these caterpillars uh, a week and a half ago, something like that, and uh, and then, yeah, that's right, two weeks ago, and then just last Saturday, they already had chrysalized, so they were already in their chrysalises, right? So all of them actually were chrysalis last Saturday, and then over the course of this last week, all of them have emerged. So. Um, We'll, we'll keep kind of referring to this, but it would be, uh, uh, Peter would be very angry with us if we just kind of held on to him like this, you know? Uh, it's kind of torture, you know? And so we're gonna, we're gonna do what's right by the animals. And so, uh, but it's, are butterflies an insect? I don't know what it is. Yeah. So they're, <laughs> they're count their legs. Yeah. It's it's true. Legs. Count their legs. Yeah. Count their legs. Yeah. Yeah, so these it's alive? Creatures. So the one, by the way, last week that we thought had died because it, uh, the, the chrysalis had detached from the roof and had fallen, we put it in there just 
you know, to sort of check and just to give it a chance. You know, we didn't really know what was going to happen. And uh, that actually ended up being the first one that sort of broke out of its way. Yeah. <laughs> so, Go on and preach that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, at the very least, all I can say is that is that I don't know if anyone's ever sort of cast you side as being dead and worthless, yes. but I'm just glad yeah. that God has always yes. kept us in yes. the mix so that we can sort of emerge, right? And so that's that's yep. where we are. So, Veron. And uh, yeah. Andrea, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, but, uh, okay. but uh, you know, so they're holding it. What are we doing, Sam? What's happening? We're going to release the butterfly, so Ron. Close that door, would you? We don't want them. To go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want them anymore. We need some help coming. All right, for all, let's do it, man. Do you need help holding it? Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Those are attack butterflies. Don't make. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let them touch you. higher than all the heavens, so that he might fill the entire universe with himself. Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. <coughs> the responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church, the body of Christ. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge that God's Son, that we will be mature in the Lord measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown by, about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. Mm -hmm. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. Amen. 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 So in honor of maturity, I think it fits perfectly to um, include my testimony. It shows my own maturity in Christ, right? So I'm, um, I think that um, this is a perfect place to start it. And then I'll continue from there. So it's my time to shine. I got some things to say. I'm tired of being quiet, listening carefully every day. You may be wondering, who is she? What could she possibly have to say? Well, every mess has a message, and every test has a testimony, and yeah. I'm broken, and I'm breaking, and I'm forgetting my name. That's why I die daily from all of the shame, from the hands that covered me to the alley where I lay to die before my Savior carried me away from those tricks riding by asking how much for some hits wow. to the empty pill bottles I just wanted to be dead wow. time time and time again I I asked the Lord why me mm. why one rape two rapes mm. rape number three mm. come on God the children that I bore never saw the thing a murderer I claimed to be no thoughts no cares for no one wow. I didn't love myself so how could I love them or how could they love me? But more importantly, why would they love me? Mm. <laughs> love was always yearned for, looked for. I thought he loved me because that's what he, he and he told me, only to leave mm. me and whisper to the world what I already believed. Mm. I'm nothing, worthless, mm. ugly, easy, 
even a waste of my own time. Sad to say, but I didn't care no more. At the age of 14, I met my first love. He didn't beat me, put me down when I called his name. He was always around. He was dark, solid, Hennessy. Mm. Mm. He introduced me to his boys, Crown, Seagrams, and Rum. Wow. They made me feel sexy. I thought I was it. Until I lost my husband, my daughter, and all of our sh It's like, mm. my mind turned inside out. Wow. I can't think straight, y'all. I got in the car, started to drive with no destination at all. Asking for help only led to my dismay because I went missing for two months. Mm. Held captive night and day. He made me walk streets I didn't know. Slept in his closet, he made me hoe. Mm. Make money for him or he beat me every day. But hey, I still have the bottle. Jack stayed true. Wow. Now who am I, you say? Who am I? I'm a child of the most high God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I see you looking at me all high and mighty. Don't change my mind because I know I'm somebody. Yes. Yeah. Right? My sins reduced. My shame is thrown. That day has come. Strongholds be gone. Yes. I'm not a slave to the devil's game. So yes. you can't have me. My prayers are stronger. My delivery is on point. These um, scriptures remember because today, today I come with annoyance. Yes. No looking back but thanking the Lord because I see things differently. Yes. And I, I mean things differently and I hear things differently because I know that recovery is a process with a lifetime of pain. You live and you learn and pick it up with resilience because we were made that way. I thank the Lord for seven years of sobriety. Yes. yes. I thank the Lord for the unification with my daughter. Yes. I wrote this poem for me, not for you. Because yeah. I was sick and tired of my arms being tied behind my back, scared of what you might think if you knew who I was. Wow. Uh, wow. But wait, that's it, right? Who I was. Yeah. Who I am now fits me. Huh. I want to be the phenomenal <laughs> woman that God has called me to be, so yes. give me a chance. <laughs> oh, my spirit is still healing and my heart is still mending and I may disappoint you at times but I'm just looking for love a pure, unconditional and categorical love and I'm looking for it here mm. in the safest place to be I'm looking for your love so I'm the humble will you accept me mm. I'm a sinner with a lot to learn I'm a teacher with a lot to teach I'm a mentor with the wisdom that God gave and I will do all I can to help each, right? I'm a mother who has been redeemed. Mm -hmm. A daughter, a sister, a friend. I can go on and on, but this poem will never end. Uh. <laughs> Sympathy, I ask not, because a strong woman I have become, mm -hmm. right? I've had plenty of pity parties, so mm -hmm. all that, it's done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I just wanted to start um, with saying that, you know, we come from a, a society where you have to look a certain way, you have to act a certain way sometimes, and, and we decide that we need to come conform, conform <laughs> sorry, to the everyday expectations of life, right? So, so sometimes it, it becomes hard for somebody that is not like everyone else or uh, doesn't fit in all the time, right? So um, I just wanted to start off in 1988. Um, I picked that date because it was very vital in my life. I, I can't remember anything before it. I was born in 80, so there was a couple years that no memory of. But I was in a car accident. And from that car accident, I was in a coma for six weeks, mm. right? So when I came out, I couldn't walk, talk, read, nothing. Um, and so that's how my life started, mm. learning how to walk, learning how to talk at age seven. Around children who weren't the nicest, you know, here is this second, third grader, sorry, who, who walks funny, who talks funny. And, and so that's how I started my life, right? Wow. So, um, so I, I wanted to bring in um, beauty, 
when we're talking about maturity and how yeah. we mature with that, okay? That's so good. just stick with me here. That's good. Yeah, yeah. so, so um, it, it was a lot of um, kids, they have a lot of influence on us because they, little boys are mean, you know, uh, in elementary school, right? Because sometimes, at even at 30 and 40 years old, those tapes still play, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? We still mm -hmm. used to believe those mm -hmm. tapes and we still try to work through those tapes because it still affects us mm -hmm. even 20, 30 years later. We don't even know those people anymore, huh. right? Wow. All right, mm -hmm. so I want to read again, um, if you want to read with me, chapter four, uh, <coughs> verse 14, okay? Um, it says, then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. There was a time where um, all I heard was what others were telling me, right? So if they told me that I was pretty that day, I must have been. Mm -hmm. If wow. they said that I was not, I must have been, mm -hmm. right? If they said that I was sexy, I must have been. If they said that I was stupid, I must have been. So my 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 day depended on mm -hmm. who said what. Wow. Right. Wow. Um, the way I esteemed myself was depending on their regard. Mm -hmm. Right. And and so how do how do you get out of that? Yeah. You know, as a yeah. child. So I had a lot of work to do. Right. Mm -hmm. um, my mother tried to tell me over and over. Oh, you're you're not. You're pretty. You're cute. You're that, but it was mom, right? So, <laughs> like this, <laughs> like the seed which fell among the thorns in Luke uh, chapter eight. You know when they're um, telling telling about the parables and all that other stuff. Um, that's what I was, you know, and nothing was sinking in that my mom said. But then I was like the the rich, you know, uh, uh, fertile ground when it came to everybody else because that's what stuck, wow. right? Um, and, and, and like like when we go to the doctor and the doctor says, we're fine when we get there, right? We think we are at least. And then we get there and they say, oh, you have such and such, right? And, and we say, oh, I do? Hmm, what is that? And then all of a sudden we acquire all the symptoms that are <laughs> attached to that because that's what the label that we gave, that we were given. And so we take it on like, okay, I guess I'll accept that. That's what I did. Okay, yeah, um, in my testimony, I talk about I die daily, you know, mm -hmm. I had to die daily because I had to learn that it's not what they think that, that tells me who I am, Yeah. right? And even when I slip and fall and start thinking that maybe they're right, that I need to die of myself and say, no, God, yeah. my God says I'm better than that. I, I'm here for a reason. I'm not here um, um, because of what they want me to be. God has a purpose. Yes. And, 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 and so it took a long time learning that. Um, uh, in Psalm 139 and 14, it told me that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. I heard yes. that and I thought, what? <laughs> Excuse me? How could, I, how could I be so wonderful if nobody is accepting of me? Because, you know, that's what, that's what we... Why? That's human nature, correct? To be accepted. Yeah. Everybody wants to be accepted. Everybody wants to be validated. We all do. So, what do you mean? Because I'm not accepted. I, they say I walk funny and they say I talk funny. So, how am I being wonderful and fearfully? And what is that? You know. Um, so, but it wasn't until <laughs> I, under, I understood God's word that I attempted to rearrange my thoughts. Right. Yeah. My thoughts that I had of myself and try to see myself through my thoughts in me. It wasn't until I heard T C Wine and Song, the Alabaster mm -hmm. that I that I knew that wow, even even her God, even this prostitute that you that you regarded so much, even amidst the, the people that were just trying to put her down. So that maybe means that I, even though I was out there that he can still love me. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't until I read the story about the woman of the well, that was yeah. at the well, yeah. and her sins that he announced and, and he forgave her yes. right at the moment yes. that, that I thought, wow, me too. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. Me too. Yes. And you too. Yes. yes. Yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't until um, the woman that was committing adultery that one time. Yeah. <laughs> and people, you know, right over God to say, This is what this lady was doing that I thought, dang. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. If you can forgive that, then that means that all the things that I did, Amen. right? Yeah. Is forgivable mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, so so I thought about that. And um, recently, um, on this beauty thing, I've been really hard on myself because, of course, I wanted to be accepted and fit in and be validated. But for societal standards, you know, societal agreement came up with something that said, um, if you look like the people on TV, yeah, you know, you, you fit in. If you're skinny like them, if you're, uh, if you have weaves. Down your back, like them. <laughs> you know, uh, if you wear makeup like them, you are beautiful. And um, so I was recently on this transition where wait, I want to, I want, I want to know me. Yeah. You know, all these years I wore weaves and braids and and makeup and. I want, I want something different, mm-hmm. right? Because I was tired of society's agreement mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. said that we had to look a certain way, mm-hmm. right? I was tired of, of holding back who I was to please some people I didn't know. You know, maybe you have um, a space between your teeth like I do, or Whoa. bigger lips, or bigger nose, or maybe yes. you're shorter than the average man, or taller than the average woman. But mm. but Psalms one thirty nine fourteen says yes. that we were made uniquely. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's yes. what yes. it means. Yeah. Yeah. Unique, uniquely, yeah. distinctly. And if we were made that way intentionally by God Himself, mm-hmm. then. What is it that we are saying in response when we decide to do something totally different? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, we can't go back and say, oh, well, I was doing this, and that's not bad, or that was bad, or that was good, or whatever. However we look at that, how it was, doesn't matter, because today is yeah. a new beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Today is a chance to start all over and to do something different, Amen. because God says, this is who you are, Amen. right? Amen. So I just want to end in prayer, and then I want to show you about these stations that we have set up here. Um, um, before I pray, uh, station one is whole life giving. So, Banna. <laughs> 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 Uh, like Stacy and Phil always say, you know, give your whole life to God. If you don't even have money to give, just give yourself. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Next banner, what do we have? <laughs> <laughs> we have communion. Um, so uh, there's bread there and there's uh, um, a glass of juice. So go ahead and what you do, you just take a piece of bread and dip it in the juice. <laughs> And take your communion as you can, as you go. Okay? Very nice. Thank you for the demonstration. <laughs> All right. So this next one, um, you have little ornaments that the beautiful Reese made, and so um, there's questions on the wall pertaining to what you're going to do with those ornaments. Be in those pens over there too. So um, Lisa, can you read what's on the wall? It says, "How are you maturing?" In what areas would you like to grow and develop? And after you write on this, you're going to keep this with you and hang it somewhere as a reminder. So every time you look in the mirror or every time you, wherever it's hung up, you are reminded of the areas that you're committed to grow in and yeah. mature in. Yeah. Thank you. And the last one is a mirror where I want everyone to look in when they get to... <laughs> Just like Reese. <recently. laughs> <laughs> you can look at the big tall one. I got that. You can look at the smaller ones. It depends on how many people are there. That's why there's more than one. Uh, so for lack of better, for lack of time, um, go ahead and re- re- see. Go ahead it and says, reflect. <coughs> look in the mirror. What do you see? Do you believe Psalm 139 when you see yourself? Hmm. Okay, so when you go to that one, I want you to actually take the time and think about that. You know, um, are you happy with God's creation? You know, and if not, what steps do you need to get there? What's it going to take to get there? And, and then I want you to get in groups 
um, of, of more than two, please, uh, however many you choose, but reflect with each other on that, That's good. you know? Reflect on what is it gonna take to get to where God says you should be and loving who he says you are and, and not what society says you should be, mm -hmm. okay? So those are the, the stations that um, you would go to after prayer and then everybody is able to get up and go to whichever station they choose to. You don't have to start with a certain one, okay? All right, All right. All right. go ahead. <laughs> Father God, I just thank you. Thank you so much for our day, God. Thank you just for just being you, God. Thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. I just ask for your forgiveness, God, because there's so much that we're holding on to, God. And we just ask that you forgive our, our holding on to strongholds. Forgive us for trying to do things our way, God. Forgive us for not appreciating your, 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 your creation. Yeah. Because you've put in all this love into us and all of a sudden there's things that we're not accepting of God and we just say we're sorry. Yes. God, give us a better way. Mm -hmm. Show us how to love us just like you do. Like the song said, mm -hmm. <laughs> give us your heart, God. Yes. Give us your eyes, God. Just give us, let us see what you see so that we can continue living this journey, God and be in the lights that shine brightly in the dark world that we yes. live in, God. I just ask that you just keep on shining within us. Yes. But God, we can't shine fully if we're not in love with ourselves, if we aren't maturing in the beauty that you've given us, God. So we just ask that you just sit us down and show us what it is that we need to grow and mature, God. I just thank you for everything that you're doing with us. Thank you for opening us up to you this evening. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. initially first before I look at how God sees me. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of the things that mm -hmm. I realized that I did initially upon picking up the mirror. Yeah, yeah isn't that something? Like after we just got to be talking about how God sees us, yeah. we still, and that just lets us know how we've been conditioned for so long, you know, training, and training ourselves for so long mm -hmm. how to do this. So. Um, it's going to take some time, you know, so we can see fully how God sees. But we are to be patient with ourselves because there's more to it. And you're right, um, first thing we see is the negative, right? Mm -hmm. The first thing sometimes. So, yeah. Awesome. Anybody else? Yes. Um, for me, um, doing that in my younger self, I probably couldn't even look at myself mm -hmm. that long. And as I get older, I'm just like, you know what? I like I like this. Mm -hmm. I like how I look. Mm -hmm. I like that I'm um, mm -hmm. aware of my unique mm -hmm. ways of looking, and I can mm -hmm. I can I can do it. I can, yeah. you know, and yeah, just being just comfortable in my own skin. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just mm -hmm. thankful that God just is revealing that to me every day. Oh, that's so so wow. Nice. Nice. That's beautiful. Christian. I love looking at that full, that, that full mirror. 
because mm -hmm. I I finally, in, in that aspect, finally become comfortable with myself because for so long mm -hmm. people have always cracked us. Why are you so skinny? Do you, mm -hmm. do you, do you, and that used to that started weighing on me. It really mm -hmm. did. Like why, why am I why am I so thin? Why, mm -hmm. why, why can't I gain weight? Why, why am I? And but now I've learned to embrace who I am, how I look, and what that mm -hmm. and how it got me. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Thank you for sharing that, especially from a male perspective, because yeah. it's not just women. Mm -hmm. that have issues. Did you have something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I kind of took the liberty of doing it before the service started, but, mm -hmm. um, and, and this is something that I still struggle with every time, like, I kind of, every time I look in the mirror, I always see, like, me as a child, like, this skinny kid with, like, mm -hmm. a big head, and, like, just mm -hmm. my head being, like, almost too big for my body, and now it's mm -hmm. just, this insecurity that I have that like hmm. I feel like I'm like I'll never be good enough for anyone type deal like mm -hmm. it's mm. just it's cause every time like yeah yeah I've grown up and yeah my body has grown you know it's mm -hmm. finally caught up but it just but every time like every time I look at it I still see that kid mm. who's just mm -hmm. who was never good enough for mm. anybody type thing like mm. that the kid that um fought so hard as a kid to try and fit in and be accepted by everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that wanted to be good enough for everybody, mm -hmm. but just having this thing, this like sick, dark thought in the back of my mind that I will never be good enough because mm -hmm. I'm too skinny or I'm too mm -hmm. short and like I'll never grow, like that like mm -hmm. thing. Just finally just kind of coming to the grips that I actually am good enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Finally accepting the fact that I am good enough. Yes. Just, yeah, loving that and just mm -hmm. now actually just actually seeing me for where I am now and just yes. forever growing with that. Yes. Holding on to that. Yes. Just seeing that same little boy. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Yes. Um, Tish, um, Tish, um, <laughs> it was Blackman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, then I said, uh, don't worry. Your name is T. Teresa. Teresa. Oh. We've done this little exercise a few times. Because mm. well, Reese always makes us do it. Mm. Like the women do. So, like, the first time, I'm like, oh, my God, you know, I'm fighting her. I'm like, I'm not doing it. Mm. You know, because, like, she said, the first time I was just mm. imperfections, you know, just mm. saw that. And then so when I went over there, that's what I'm used to doing. So I was like, oh my God, my hair ain't combed it. You know, just like, you know, I was like, girl, stop, you're cute. You know, like, so I like shut it down, was like, you know, those, when those thoughts come up, I was like, no, get out of here, I'm cute. You know, just that fast. I was like, uh-uh, I already been through this already before. I already, yes. know, I'm, yeah. I already know I'm cute, don't even go there. You know, so that's just, yes. you know, just over time. Over time. You know, over time, you just keep doing it, keep doing it, and keep saying that to yourself, you know, and you know, you'll get there. But you know, if you have days, you know, that you feel that way, but for the most part, you know, it's like, can't nobody tell me nothing. I know what God sees. God made me, you know what I mean? So that's where, you know, and that's part of the part of where I'm maturing at, is in my thoughts. That's good. Maturing in my thoughts. That's good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Yes, when I looked at it, I went with prejudice because I prejudged what I was going to see. And I looked in there to see is that who I really am, mm -hmm. or is that who, as you have mentioned, who people have made me be? Mm -hmm. As society took over me, or am I going to take over society and, mm -hmm. and be who mm -hmm. I am, wow. and be a forerunner, mm -hmm. and go ahead and do, mm -hmm. and be the child of God wants me to be? Yes. Mm -hmm. awesome. That's so good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. Janelle, and... I'll just speak for the people that aren't there yet, because mm -hmm. I went over there, but I didn't actually look. I picked up a mirror, but I didn't actually stop to pay attention. I kind of did my my force of habit, quick glance, okay, everything's covered, get out the mirror okay. type thing, and um, didn't actually stop, didn't actually look, didn't actually want to see it and go there, and, and there's still stuff there. So I didn't have a big, yeah, I got I rock moment. I kind of had a, okay, my shirt's down low enough. We're good, you know? <laughs> so, 
that need to be improved or that mm-hmm. are like deeper that's the inside like God is speaking to me and I don't want to see that mm-hmm. I don't want to pick out the things that I need to work on I'll, mm-hmm. I'd rather pick those things out but when I I I see myself I'm, I'm, I go deeper and there's some things I don't want to go deeper in mm-hmm. and yeah. so I just mm-hmm. choose not to see it I just Oh, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna run away because mm-hmm. if I actually look at myself in the mirror, um, crap comes out, mm-hmm. and it's some things that I don't want to work on yet, even though that God has me work on some. But there's those deep ones that I see, and I'm like, okay, well that's there, I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I'd rather just avoid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I don't want to see it. Yeah. So I don't, and it's something that I, I work with. Mm-hmm. I'm working on, but. Yeah, that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Maturing as a process, mm-hmm. it's not something that happens overnight. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, so one of the things that really captured me is I was actually not a station, um, but something uh, over one of the stations. So our good friend James Graham has been doing this kind of progressive art um, piece for us. And so he started here with the, the little tiny, um, what are they called, pupa, mm-hmm. or whatever, on the leaf and then um, you have the caterpillar, next week we'll see the chrysalis, and then finally we'll see this, be- this beautiful butterfly. But yeah, it's, it's a process, mm-hmm. um, and sometimes we need visual reminders to, to, to sink in. Like, yes, it, it's a process. And um, for me, whether, whether you gave in whole life giving or not, or whether you looked at yourself in the mirror or not, or whether you wrote down something, um, that you want to mature and grow in or not, it all, at the end of the day, it's, mm. it all hinges on this. Mm. What Jesus did on the cross, mm. like it is finished. Mm. The insecurities, the fears, the doubts, mm-hmm. the lack of money, mm-hmm. the lack of maturity, it's finished. Mm. So this for me is just like, mm. okay, well, mm. you know, like that. So that will always be um, just just a great reminder of the finished work of the cross. Yeah. Um, what Jesus did and how we now have the opportunity and the invitation to lay it at his feet. It's done. So anyway, just my two cents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, just to kind of follow what Reese said, probably the biggest thing that impacted me tonight was this little one thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that it was to be committed to the process mm-hmm. and not to give up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I want, yeah. Mm-hmm. When I want something else, but to remain faithful, mm-hmm. and that requires maturity. Yeah. And I want to stop right now, like a little kid, mm-hmm. being on my own way, yeah. you know. But it's mm-hmm. being committed to that right there. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. You know, well, am I willing to pay the cost? Am yeah. I willing mm-hmm. to move forward? To mm-hmm. press on yeah. and to not stop because I'm mature enough. I'm not right now because I want to stop. Mm-hmm. But it requires a level mm-hmm. of maturity to stay committed that right there yeah. and not to stop when you want to stop yeah. mm-hmm. when the flesh tells you something mm-hmm. or society tells you something or people whatever whoever is telling you something you have to be able to identify what matters and to move forward yeah. 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 thank you so i see oh yes <laughs> um i yeah the ornament station <clears throat> it got me too so, and I, I realized for me, I think maturity has for a long, long, long time, for many years, been this process of becoming accepting of myself and becoming mm-hmm. okay with who I am. The things that are just naturally me, mm-hmm. accepting those and saying, oh, that's actually <coughs> good. 
thing. Mm -hmm. Like, this is fine, mm -hmm. this is good, this is valuable, Jessica, to be who you are. Um, however, on my ornament I wrote, believe in my own ability to change. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in my life, maturity is kind of like, it's taking another step. Mm -hmm. So I've done a lot of hard work to mature to be okay with who I am. Mm -hmm. And now, mm -hmm. I feel like, I am able to say, great, and then what are other things that can change? Yeah. So I've spent 26 years trying to change all these things about myself and then finally decided to stop. But I think in God's grace, he's like, you know, let me see and reveal other things that say like, great, you are wonderful and valuable in these ways. Look at these other ways though, that yeah. you did not even know exist before. <laughs> you did not know were dysfunctional in your life. You didn't know were immature and unhealthy and underdeveloped. And now we're going to develop Chose. those things. Yeah. Mm. So kind of this like mm. tiered process. And mm. I'm super thankful that I did not know that about myself mm. all these years because then it would have been devastating. Mm. But realizing now there are um, there are just kind of new places to go and new avenues to be mature in that I didn't even know about before. Mm. Yes. So I'm yeah. grateful for that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Is there anyone else? Look around you. Your brothers, your sisters are hurting in areas of their lives that we didn't even know. You know, we have so much similarity when it comes to our maturing and just this simple, it seems simple, right? Beauty or, or acceptance. We're all hurting. And, and so I encourage you to keep on, keep on loving mm -hmm. and encouraging and reminding you're beautiful. You know, thank God that you are at, right? Because it's strong, it's strengthening me mm -hmm. to see you and to, to see you flourish and boom and, and still be Jessica. Mm -hmm. You know, thank you, you know, Christian, for you, mm -hmm. right? So we all have these things that we're dealing with, but we can deal with them together. We don't have to do it by ourselves, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So maturity is um, um, a process which we already talked about. Change is scary for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. you no, know, because we, we, we sit here, it's comfortable here, right, in this space, because we've been here before. We know what it's like to, to get hurt there. We know what it tastes like and smells like, and we know what it looks like, because we've seen it before, we failed, and that's okay, because we're in this space, right? But when we step out, mm -hmm. we don't know, there's a balloon saying, hey, come this way, Jessica, mm -hmm. it's going to be on a crack, and you're going to laugh over here, you know, or there's nothing that says, you might want to watch your step, Michael, because you might not like it, it might get dangerous over here, you might cry, you know, it might hurt, but there's nothing that says that, right? So we're going blindly to step out and say, changes, it might be okay, that's where faith comes in, yeah. right? So this transition that we're running through with uh, maturity, tra the transition point is what's <coughs> the, the scary part, mm -hmm. is where it hurts, because that's where we're being stretched, and. And, 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 and tried and so while we're in transition, you know, getting to love ourselves again and, and getting through those hard cracks and crevices of things that are too deep, you know, that we've been putting away for so long. That we just join with one another and just pray for each other and call each other, text each other, you know, how you doing? You know? You don't have to explain, but whatever. You know, how are you? A lot of people just need that question and they would vomit all over you. <laughs> this is how I am. This is so let them vomit and move on. But sometimes that's what we need. Because we've been holding this in us for so long. So I'm done. Thank you guys. Mm. Okay, anybody else?